What's going on everybody? Stanley Parrish here, Pistol Outflow Studios, and welcome back to the show where I uplift you through art, graphic design, photography, and videography. Today I have another quick tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to create your own custom brush in Adobe Photoshop. Custom brushes are a lot of fun to play around with. Um, it's a very powerful tool. It allows you to, to create custom shapes. Um, whether you like to paint or draw, you can create your own custom brush. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create um, a brush for eyelashes. So, but you can use this technique for anything, any, any kind of custom brush you want to make. Uh, it could be facial hair, uh, hair on top of your head, whatever. Like I said, you can do all kind of things with um, custom brushes. You can create your own unique shapes uh, to use in your, your design projects and you can use it to draw and paint and stuff like that. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we go. We got this picture right here of Michonne. If you don't know who this is, something's wrong. I, I, I don't know what to say. But anyway, why did I choose this picture? I don't know. I'm a Walking Dead fan, a huge Walking Dead fan. So if you watch Walking Dead, you know who this is. This is Michonne, don't mess with her, she's tough. She's a killer, but okay. So we're gonna give Michonne some nice, gorgeous eyelashes. Gonna make her look very pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it done. Okay, so I have some different layers over here. Um, I have Michonne on one layer and I have layer one. I'm gonna rename this to, um, eyelash and this is going to be the layer that we paint our eyelashes on okay so i'm going to zoom in real close and i'm going to select a color here i'm going to sample one of these colors um that's already in the photo right here so this real dark area this is the color you want it's not pure black it's just uh kind of like a dark dark brown and then I'm gonna select my brush too. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure I have a, a nice hard round brush. So we're gonna set the hardness to 100. And I'm gonna take it down to maybe like two pixels. Yeah. So that's the size we want right there. So I'm just gonna paint um, one eyelash to make to see if I can make it match um, the other eyelashes that are here already. So I'm just gonna paint right here. You can see these are my brush strokes right here. Okay. I'm just gonna paint right here in the middle somewhere. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is, there's our eyelash right here. Now, whenever you're creating a custom brush, the background has to be white. Okay, your brush has to be black and the background has to be white. So that's, that's why I have this white layer right here. So from here, what you wanna do is you wanna make a selection. And then you want to go to edit and go to where it says define brush preset. And there it is. That's the brush we just created. And we're gonna name it eyelash. I'm just naming eyelash 01. Okay. And I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of this white layer and bring Michonne back. Hide this, hide this layer. Okay. Okay. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm just gonna name it Paint Eyelashes. Okay. I'm gonna take my brush too. And here's the brush that we created. It's right here, it's the last one in, the, in, in your brush list. I'm gonna select that. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. 
Matter of fact, let's let's um, let's hide this layer again. Okay, so that's what the brush looks like when we paint with it. So we're gonna have to make some adjustments to the brush to make it look, um, you know, to make it look real. So you wanna go to your brush options over here. You're gonna go to your brush tip shape, set the spacing how you want it. I'm gonna say maybe 65% on my spacing. So that's what that looks like. Okay. Got the spacing. Next, I'm gonna go to where it says shape dynamics. I'm gonna check that. <clears throat> and then you wanna go to size jitter because we don't want the eyelashes to all be the same size. So I'm gonna set my size jitter to be 50% maybe. Uh, let's try 45%. Uh, 40, let's go 40%. Okay, 40% for the size jitter. Just so they're not all the same size. Okay. And the angle jitter, we're gonna change, uh, all, no, the eyelashes, are not gonna be all the same, they're not gonna be at the same angle. So we can change that a little bit too. So I'm gonna say maybe 6% on the angle jitter. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. <clears throat> now here's, um. you don't wanna skip this step right here. Okay, so let's say if I brush uh, in a circle, watch this. Okay, you see how the eyelashes, they're not really following the path that I made with my brush stroke. It's not going in the same direction that I'm painting in. So let me show you the difference. Let's, let me delete this. And I'm gonna paint a circle right here with my eyelash brush. There's a circle. Okay, so for my angle jitter right here, you go back to your options over here. And where it says angle jitter control, you wanna change that to direction. Okay, so what's this gonna do now, the, the brush, the eyelash is gonna follow whatever direction you paint in. It's gonna follow that path. Now watch this, I'm gonna paint a circle. Now watch how, the eyelash goes along with the direction that I'm painting in. Okay. So you see the brushes, the eyelash is rotating along with the path that I'm drawing. Okay, see it's completely different from this one here on the left side. That's it for the brush. We pretty much got the brush set up now how we want it. Okay, so I'm gonna bring Michonne back. And I'm just gonna paint. I'm gonna start right here in the corner. I think that may that may be a little bit too light, so I'm gonna pick a darker color here. Okay. Bam. So I think that looks you know pretty realistic. And try it again. I'm gonna zoom in some more so you can see. Okay. Just like just paint, just like that. And I can even make this bigger. Um, I'm hitting my right bracket key and you can hit the, um, that makes your brush bigger. And to make it smaller, you just hit the left bracket key. All right, so I made it bigger. Okay. Okay, so let's zoom out and see what that looks like. Oh, doesn't she look pretty? Look at there, look at there. Okay, so we can do the same thing on the left side using the same brush. But this time, we wanna flip the brush on the X axis. Okay, so I'm gonna name this, I'm gonna make a new layer, name this um, eyelash, eyelashes, uh, left, left side. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my brush options. 
I'm gonna go to brush tip shape, and you wanna where it says flip Y, you wanna hit that, check that where it says flip Y. I'm sorry, flip X, flip X. Okay. So let's try it on this side. I'm gonna make that smaller. I'm just gonna paint. Okay, make it bigger. It's maybe a little bit too big. There we go. I kind of want to add some more shadow. Um, where the eyelashes are just to make it a little darker. And that'll kind of make it look more realistic too. So I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm just going to name it um, like eye shadow or something. And I'm going to pick. I'm gonna change my color to black. And I'm gonna pick a nice soft brush. I'm gonna set my opacity to maybe 20%. And then I'm just gonna paint here. Just to make this above her uh, eyelids, just make them a little darker. Okay. Just paint, paint, paint with black. I'm gonna take the opacity down this layer just a little bit because I think that was too much. Okay, about let's say maybe sixty percent. Opacity. So yeah, that's it, y'all. That's how you create a custom brush in Photoshop. I hope you learned something. Again, this is Stanley Parrish, Pistol Outflow Studios. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video. Share it with your family and friends. Drop me a comment, question, suggestions, anything. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, guys. See you later. Peace.